Mewtwo got a massive boost with the release of Battle Styles in the form of Bronzong. Bronzong, of course, can move all the energy around, and so you can have a bunch of different attackers to pair with Mewtwo. Let's take a look at my Metal Mewtwo deck. Welcome back to the channel, little flexors. Today we have an awesome Metal Mewtwo deck that reminds me of the time that I went to Detroit to watch the uh, Pokemon, the musical on stage, and they had the big villain was this Metal Mewtwo that was all covered in the metal armament, and then it busted out and sang and danced around the stage. Anyway, we got Bronzong, we got Mewtwo, and that forms the backbone of this awesome deck. So we got our Mewtwo, of course, with the perfection ability, going to be able to copy any GX or EX attack, of course, no EXs in the format right now, but any GX attack, which is really nice because we can copy some very efficient GX attacks uh, and, and attacks from things like Vileplume GX here with a massive Jeff Goldblum. 180 damage. This attack does 10 less damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So you can hit 180 for two energy, which is very, very cost effective. Now, the GX attack that we want to use in this deck is Altered Creation. So we have four Aurora Energy. That is how we fulfill the water requirement for Alter Creation. We can take extra prizes when we activate that GX with a, an Aurora and a Metal. We also have the 2-2 two, two Bronzong. Bronzong with the Metal Transfer is going to be how we move around our energy to transfer them from different attackers. Let's say we have a Mewtwo that gets knocked into and it has a bunch of damage on it. Well, we just use that Bronzong, move the, the energy around onto maybe something like a Zacian V. Zacian V is really good for getting those metal energy into play, and it also has the Brave Blade attack that does a ton of damage. One nice little cute addition that we have is a Zacian. Zacian with the Amazing Sword, if your opponent has any Pokemon VMAX in play, this attack does 150 more damage. So, do the math. 150 plus 150, if, it's a v, if there's a VMAX in play, that's 300 damage. But then you say, JW, that's not enough to knock out an opposing Pokemon VMAX. And I say, oh, but wait, of course you have that ADP GX attack. If you can alter creation before you use this Zacian, you can hit for 330, which is enough to knock out just about any VMAX in the format, Sans Eternatus. Really love this Zacian card in here, gives it a nice flavor. Another card that I love in here is the Empoleon V. With the Emperor's Eyes, you can shut down a few different abilities, but it's really nice for the Swirling Slice. Not only will it two-shot uh, most GX and uh, V Pokemon with the ADP's help. It can one-shot it, send a Scorch V. It can one-shot a uh, Victini V Max with that Swirling Slice if they, of course, use that ADP GX attack. But then it moves energy. It conserves the energy onto benched Pokemon with the attack. So I love this Empoleon as well in the list. Let's move on down to the bottom half here. Got a Chaotic Swell that is just very necessary card. We were finding that we were running into a lot of very difficult stadiums to deal with. Something like Wonders Labyrinth is very tough to deal with. Uh, and then, of course, the fire decks when they play their giant hearths are very rough. We got our three metal saucer. I really wanted four in here, but I just kind of figured I'd rather play a higher count of raw energy so that we hit it more frequently off of the Zacian V than to try to recover it after we have it in the discard with the metal saucer. So this is the list, you guys. I hope you enjoy these next couple of games. Some really great gameplay we have coming up here with this Metal Mewtwo list. I am very excited about the prospects of this deck in the future. Reminds me a lot of the Mewtwo Lightning lists that have been you know, around here in this current format, but still maintains a lot of flexibility with these new attackers like the Zacian and the Empoleon V. So here you go. This is our Bronzong Mewtwo Metal Mewtwo deck. That would be a really cool name for a person. If they got knighted and you had to call them Sir Acha. Thank you so much for the follow, JT. JT Digits. I know, Dave. Honestly, we honestly have to. If you don't have four Crushing Hammer in every single list that you play, what are you doing? What do we think we're playing against? Do we think we're playing against hammers? I'm just going to be so depressed if we are, man. That existential dread of playing against hammers, bro.
Denegenerate, tell me it's not a house, bro. Tell me it's not a new house. I'm gonna be livid. No, I'm just kidding. I'll be very happy. What is it? Let's hear it. Okay. No! Oh! Oh, it hurts. No, I'm... <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I know we were talking about that a while ago. That rocks. That's so dope. Congrats. Um, wow, I really don't want a Marnie here. Uh, I think we just go here. Try to get ADP. ADP in the D. Uh, it's kind of risky, but I think you got to risk it for the biscuit. We're going to get a research here. I mean, kind of. It was kind of a research. And then we will go here. And then let's get the... Uh... Oh my gosh. This is going to be nutty. We got to get an attack off with the Zashin. Got to do it. It's got to happen. Blaltered variation. Move back to Michigan. I could. Yeah, my parents, I mean, my parents still live in Michigan, right? They live on the east side. And they're like, yeah, um, you know, it's. Houses are staying here on the market. You know, it's it's a it's a hot market here. Houses are staying on the market for for three weeks, and I'm like, you have to be joking that three week that you think that three weeks is a hot market. I'm sitting here in uh, in Columbus, and it's like if it lasts more than six hours, you're thankful that you got to visit the place. <laughs> All right, let's have a pogged turn, everybody. Yee. We could ultimate Ray. That does seem pretty good, but I'm gonna just retreat into the Empo, Empo squad. Just cause it's fun. We get to save an energy here with the Empo squad, so. I'm not even worried. Get to show him off a little bit. He's earned it. Put the smell down. Smelly, smell that smells smelly. And uh, slice it up. <laughs> yeah, the Empoleon is nuts. I visited a house this weekend that I walked out the door and the agent said, never mind, it's gone. This is so real. I apologize, guys, if you are like under 16 and, and the adults are talking about houses and you're like about to fall asleep. But this is your future, let me tell you. <laughs> you're you're looking at your future, man. Oh, this is this is a filthy deck, bro. This is actually like really saucy. I love this. I love this. This is so good. 
This deck, like legit, this deck is good. Okay, um, so we have, we have won once and we have lost once. And we have two hours and 30 minutes to get the full art welder. Will he do it? Will he get the full art welder? Find out in less than two hours and 30 minutes. All right, where are my believers at? One in the chat if you're a believer right now and your whole point rides on this game. Let me see some ones in chat. Ones for the believers. It's a fire deck, bro. I'm going to do this. They're going to lead Jirachi and they're going to get they're going to be so pogged that they can't that they can't stellar wish. Okay. Close, close. That's right. My believers, my rider dies. We're going to win this one. This one's for you, okay? I'm gonna play my heart out. Looking mighty tasty over there. Oh, actually, our Empoleon, this is kind of bad. <laughs> That's kind of bad, actually. Um, Because we could get this knocked out. I guess we have the Zacian. So like, we, ha we do have the Zacian. Fair enough. But, uh... Uh, let's go here. Ah, we should have, we should have pitched the energy, I'm realizing now. Shoot. Um... Yeah, because then we could have Metal Saucered. It's fine. We're not going to... Oh, we only have two Aurora? Okay, actually, it's fine because we're going to GX without... Um, we're going to GX without the extra effect. It's awkward. It's weird. But I think that's the play. Um, could go two Bronzor here. That seems fine, actually. Let's pitch it. Like, I don't love two bronze ore, but it's fine. Um, at this point... So yeah, I think we just go for the additional damage because we want to just knock out... If it's a Victini deck, like, straight up... If it's a Scorch Victini deck, we just attack twice with this and win, so... We'll just AC. And then the only reason I'm not dropping this is because I don't want to get it gusted up, but maybe that's a stupid reason. Maybe that doesn't make any sense. Welder for two. What are we thinking here? What, we're thinking an energy burst? No. How do I knock this? How do I knock this? I can't. How do I do anything? Uh, we're going to move it to like a very undesirable target. I, I guess the Zacian is fine. We'll move it to the Zacian. Um, be done. We'll do this. We'll discard an energy. Because why not? And we'll draw our three. Okay, we're working. We're living. We got outs. We got options. We just need them to not gust, I think. Well, yeah, we could attack with the Bronze or Tackle for 20. True, true. Fifty good, good point. <laughs> um, um, actually, um, it's 50. Bruh. 
We win if we knock this out, dude. Alright. There's no chance we don't get a metal saucer here. Ah, uh, well, it's okay because we can go here and we can we can do this. We can do this. We can go here. We're fine, chant. That's why you play the Mewtwo. Massive Blom. Massive Jeff Goldblum. Take your two prizes. It's not where we want to be at, but we're happy that we're here at all. And we could get another filthy uh, escape rope knock on a Victini as well. So don't, don't think I don't see it. Don't think for one moment that I don't see that play. Daddy's always watching. Yeah, you put that VMAX back in the deck, bro. Um. So I think if they leave the Eldegoss active, we go ahead and ultimate Ray. I think that seals up the dub. I think that seals up the dub. We, like, attach the Aurora. Oh, no, we can't attach the Aurora. Hmm. Because then if they knock out the Mewtwo... How do they knock out the Mewtwo, though? I don't think they have a way to knock out the Mewtwo. So what they could do here is they could Welder and they could Energy Burst, and then we wouldn't be able to knock out unless we switched, which would be fine. Um, but still, like, we want to have this Mewtwo as fresh as possible. Hey, Juice! Thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're having an awesome day. I'm glad you like the YouTube. Thank you guys for the uh, for the serotonin. Every time you say you like a YouTube video. I do really appreciate it. Alright, so there's the switch. Into the teeny. So we're fine. Because we air balloon the active. And then we go into Empo. And then, so he's going to spreading flame. Oh, oh, actually, actually here, we will knock out the active. Alternatively, we could escape rope. And then if he brings up Eldegoss, there's like no real good way for him to win. Because we can just punish him with the Empo. Tweet says, is daddy's always watching a new catchphrase? It could be. You know, a catchphrase is only as uh is only as good as as uh, those that repeat it. So they are gonna spreading flames here. Um oh they're gonna go here, huh? So that means that they could one shot this. So, like my ideal. My ideal is to get a knockout with the vile plume. So I worry. I think we just have to air balloon the active, go into Empo, and then hope we get a gust. I think that's our play. Hope we get a gust for. Or we could knock out the active. And hope we get a metal saucer. Ah, I'm paralyzed by choice. But you guys see the you guys see the two the two routes we can go, right? We can hope we get gust, of which we have two in the deck, or we can hope we get metal saucer, of which we also have two in the deck. I guess this way forces them to have this. Um. Hmm. I just I literally can't make up my mind. I'm so sorry. Um 
Okay, we'll go in with the we'll go in with the blom. We'll go in with the blom. Not quite, not quite. Oh no, we should have. Sorry, we should have. We should have attached with the uh, attacked with the Empoleon because we have the escape rope. So it would have forced them to have um, a V Max. Well, no, I think it, I, this way it forces them to have a welder. So actually, I don't know. I don't know. I, if you want to tell me what the best play, I actually don't think there was a best play there. Or it comes down to like two percentage points in one direction. Baby, you light up my world like nobody else. Hello, Kyle. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. Aura Savage. What you got? I, I think they don't have Welder. I think they don't have Welder. Oh, they're going after the Empo. Okay. Okay. Well, we just have it with the, uh, we just have it with the escape rope. So, believers, where are you at? Believers, where are you at? Huh? Where are my believers at? <laughs> oh, we, and we can knock it out. Oh, yeah, that's, that's so good. That's so good, because we could go in with Zashin, too, if they did have, uh, a beefier boy. Yeah, let's go. Me too, insane card. <laughs> You're done, bud! Oh, that deck is filthy. I kind of just want to keep playing it. I kind of just want to keep playing it. That's super fun. Wow, me too. Chef's Kiss. Brown Song, Chef's Kiss. All right, bro. The Believers. Yo, if you were a hater, I saw you out there. Two plus losses had like 57%. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. You're done, bud. Thank you. Yo, what's up, Anderson? Welcome, buddy. Hey, thank you to everybody that's in the chat right now. Thank you to all the lurkers uh, that are here saying hey. Uh, if I haven't said hi to you, hello, welcome on in. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Thank you all so much for being here. Oh, there's the dogs going crazy. Okay, there's that. Send. Oh, I did not mean to start that. <laughs> oh, it's a lappy. One lap dog. Um, so we want Zashin. <laughs> oh, we want Zashin. Um, uh, yeah, we just like, didn't want that active, huh? That's fine. That's fine. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Go here. Go here. Last, uh, last card has to be the Zong. But yeah, we're chilling, bro. We are chilling. Um, so we go here. We go there. We go here. Opponents like, what in the world? We do the air balloon. They might not have anything, bro. Now nah, we'll put the air balloon on the active. That's fine. Intrepid sward would have been insane.
Also, we have uh, community member Bort giving away some code cards in the chat. So we are going to, let's see, do, uh, let's see, Moobot. Stick around. We got some giveaways on the way. Potentially also from Andrew. Thank you guys both for the giveaways here. Let's go ahead and manage this one. Uh, archive that. And then we'll go ahead and create a giveaway. Go ahead, exclamation point giveaway in the chat, guys. As a reminder, subscribers get times for the luck for any giveaways. Um, dude. Wait, this is so good. All right, we got uh, we got GX coming in. We got the GX. <gasps> we don't have the GX coming in. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <gasps> we prized. We prized the juice. We still get a knockout on the Crobat, but like, we could have had we could have had the spice. We could have had the spice. All right. Well, what do we do here? I guess we just Marnie, right? Oh, I'm salty about it. I'm salty. I was thinking this Zashin would do like major damage. It still could, to be fair, but. Um, yeah, we need the ADP desperately. We need the ADP desperately. All right. Massive Jeff Goldblum. ADP? ADP? No, I don't think we escape rope there because I'd rather take the knockout. I'd rather dig for the... Um, I'd rather dig for the ADP because then we get a one-shot with the Zashin on a Lapras. Like, then they have to target a one-prizer, which seems really good. So I, I think I'm happy with where I'm at, but yeah, I definitely understand with the escape rope. We just wouldn't be knocking out the Lapras in one shot. So I felt like hunting for the ADP there would have been better. Yo, thank you guys for entering the giveaway, exclamation point giveaway in the chat for some codes. I don't know what they are. Bort said that they are a, uh, a mishmash. Um, let's see, uh, huh? approximately how many, uh, I could, we could, if there's over, cool, oh my gosh, can you hear the dogs running up? above me you maybe not can't hear that but yo please don't knock me out please don't knock me out please do not do it please don't no <laughs> no 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 switch no switch no did no. <laughs> oh, don't do it no crowbat no crowbat! No crowbat! No! <laughs> it hurts. Okay, now I think we lose. <laughs> oh, what a filthy turn! What is that? Seven? So they got uh, like what? Seven times three? That's three hundred damage, man! Oh my gosh! They went from a Lapras with two energy to a Lapras VMAX with five, with uh, seven energy in one turn. That's ridiculous. That is so disgusting. They even discarded a Lapras too. That is, that is absurd. How do we... How do we come back? Um, is it uh, lightning weakness? Is there anything that we have that has lightning weakness, or that has lightning uh, lightning attack? Uh, we got uh, we got this boy. Let's see. So they go knockout. Yeah, we have no shot. Oh my gosh, the ADP. I actually think if the ADP wasn't prized, we could win still. Um,
But yeah, that's a that's a GG, bro. There's like no. Um, 